hello collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel okay I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. Anything the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you, it's returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies are being dismantled, are dismantled. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay. Okay. So the fact that someone is still pushing forward is causing some type of chaos among a group of people. This karmic group is saying, <laughs> Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Oh, have mercy, source, have mercy, source, have mercy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This karmic group, there's there's a group of people that's behind the scene fighting amongst each other because someone keeps moving forward. It's like, I don't know if these people got together thinking that their little immature tactics to take someone down or a group of other people down was working. It's like they thought they had to, but there's something that's going on with them. Like they're fighting amongst themselves, possibly even betraying each other. There may be some type of investigation going on. They're facing some type of blockage themselves. Um, it's like someone trying to block you, but then they don't realize they're blocking themselves. It's like every action they take to block you is leading to some type of blockage for them. But these people are fighting amongst themselves. They know that you know what they've been doing. These people know that this is like someone doing something for a long time or a group of people doing something for a long time. And they think that you don't know only to find out that you've known all along like who was involved, who's been doing what, why they're doing it. It's always irrelevant reasons for why they're doing it. But I think what I'm seeing is that their aim was to block you, your work, your forward movement. It's like always being at the finish line. And then someone or a group of people get in there to interject and saying, hey, you can't go any farther, but then you push right through them. And this is causing some type of chaos amongst these people because there's balance being brought into this situation. There could be something about a group of people trying to interfere with divine timing. So you know the universe, everything moves according to to the, to the, what they say? According to the rules that are put in place by each creator God that creates the planet or gods that create a planet. So everything that happens within that, I guess, planet, the universe is happening accordingly because everything operates on principle. So what these people are trying to do, I hope that just makes, I hope what I said just makes sense. <laughs> What these people are trying to do is interfere with divine timing. They know things are not going in their favor, but they want to make things as hard and complicated as much as possible, even though that's not really working in their favor. It's working against them. The fact that they choose to keep going forward with something has led to some type of, uh, I said divine timing, and then it's down here. It has led to some type of chaos, setback, conflict like they're literally fighting amongst themselves it may not be a physical fight per se but there's some type of argument going on behind the scene someone may be realizing that they were misled uh they may have misjudged someone there's something like that going on here okay yeah these people were hoping to have wish fulfillment or something they may be fighting over something that belongs to another person this is, let's say you were left a house, you were left some type of property, and these people have been trying to block you from having access to this property. And now they're trying to compete with one another on who gets the property, even though it doesn't belong to any of them. Little do they know there could be an investigation going on behind the scenes and every one of them are being tapped. 
okay? So they're fighting over something, some type of finance that is not, yeah. They're fighting over some type of finance or some type of inheritance that is not theirs. They, I'm telling you, they won't be able to have this. They're not going to be able to. Their, their wish <laughs> is to have you blocked, have you unseen, hide you, hide you, but they're disappointed because you still have an offer coming in. You still have new opportunities coming in. So whatever tactic they've been using, it's not working. It's not going to work. It doesn't matter what tactic these people come up with to, to try to destroy you, set you back, whatever. It's not going to work. You're still going to have wish fulfillment. These people are really just greedy. They're fighting over some type of money. Some type of money. They are fighting over money. Money that does not belong to them. They say even, I'm telling you, they say it's money. It has to do with money. It has to do with money. Let's say you, okay, since I do content, let's say my platform, someone does not want my platform moving forward, which I do have people behind the scenes interfering with my platform. Uh, but it is whatever. Um, let's say they don't want your platform being noticed. They don't want it going viral. They don't want it doing anything. But the platform is f uh, garnering money, right? It's making money. So now that they see the financial benefits within that platform, they're fighting on who gets the platform, who gets the ticket. None of them gets the ticket. It doesn't belong to them. This is like trying to receive something without merit, like you didn't work for it. You just want the financial benefits of it and it's not going to happen. So they're fighting amongst themselves for no reason, right? They may also be fighting because it's that regardless of what they do, you're still content in life. Is that oh we've taken this from them? Why are they not crying? We've taken that from them. Why why are they not miserable? Why are they not living in poverty? Why are they not in some type of horrendous situation? But you're not. They're seeing that you're still committed to your work. You're still a dreamer. You're still focused. You may be about to work with a king of cups. Maybe this is someone that has some type of uh, business idea that they want to present to you. And this could be something. Yeah. I'm telling you, you're about to be working with a King of Cups. Someone may be sending you some type of message. This person could have been trying to communicate with you for a long time, but these people have been trying to, not trying, they've been interfering, causing blockages, okay? Like, you are almost at the finish line. Like, you're going to have the last laugh. This is like a group of people getting together, starting some type of conflict. Like, they're playing a game. They are playing a game, but they don't understand the game they're playing. Like they're getting momentary satisfaction from it, but in the long run, they lost. This is like people not understanding the art of war. They'll do like some type of tactic and they'll get like a momentary satisfaction from it, but then that's it. And then things digress right back to where they were before. They don't understand what they're really doing. They don't understand the game, right? So it's momentary. Someone gets, someone in here or a group of people are really impulsive with how they move and it has caused them a lot of loss, right? So now the greedy side of them are now thinking on how to take from someone or how to even manipulate a masculine, which is probably something they've been doing for a long time, manipulating a masculine to see something in a way that's not honest, right? So if you're someone genuine, you're telling him you're the opposite, that you bring chaos, you come with chaos, but someone is seeing the truth. He's seeing the truth about the situation. This masculine is going through some type of healing. He could be like embracing his inner child now, but he may be communicating with you. Yeah, he's going through healing, getting out of his mind, freeing himself. Someone is no longer bond, bonded to a group of people, a group of karmics, uh, maybe even in a relationship or work area. Like he's freeing himself and moving on. Like, he could have heard something like someone may have said something that sparked his antennas and he was like oh shoot i gotta get away from these people that i've been on the wrong team like i betrayed someone either they betrayed someone and they're realizing they did the wrong thing this could be someone you work with or you worked with in the past <clears throat> excuse me um, and this person is going through some type of healing and they are awakening them awakening and removing themselves like Someone is freeing their mental. This masculine had an issue with his mental in the past. Like everything 
had to do with what people thought of him, what people said about him. Um, he he worried a lot about what people thought about what he was like doing, saying how he carried how he carried himself. The Liberian English uh, accent was about to come out. <laughs> Excuse me. How he was carrying himself, who he was communicating with, who he associated with, what kind of clothes he had on, what type of car he was driving. Like this person cared a lot. He's showing up here as a pushover in the past, but something has happened where this masculine is now moving forward. He's like freeing himself from some type of devilish attachment. And it has to do with these people, right? The fact that this man has decided to separate himself from this group it's also causing some type of uh, chaos from them, uh, amongst them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Why I get a sip of my vibe? Excuse me. One second. The fact that he knows the truth, he's seeing the truth, and he's moving forward with his decision is why. It's part of the reason why they're fighting because they've done a lot of manipulation. Someone too may have some type of confession to make when you two um when you two meet, connect, or whatever in work, in business, in love, whatever this is. This masculine has some type of confession. There's something he did that interfered with your life in some way, shape, or form. Okay, and this person may be burdened by that. He may have been burdened by, by that, but he's learning that. There's a right way to go about things. So he may take some type of risk to come towards you and confess. Yeah, he may come towards you. Okay? Yeah. So he may take some type of risk to come towards you, to share something with you, reveal something to you. Um, but someone has been stuck in their mind a lot. Okay? It flipped back over. <clears throat> Yeah, 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 yeah. So this person could be freeing themselves from immature, uh, immature way of living, right? With this group of people, you know, when you are part of something, you don't see the truth about that situation until you step outside of it. That's when you get to see, oh, that's really immature. Like, why am I? Why was I participating in that? Let's say, like, you have a group of people. And I'm just using this as an example. Let's say you have a group of people that eat their boogers. Well, they've been eating boogers for, let's say, 40 years. You come along and you see them doing it. And you said, ew, that's disgusting. Why are you eating your boogers? And they say, it's, it's my boogers. I can eat it if I want to. They say, okay, but I'm not eating my boogers. That's disgusting. By you saying that, they think you're judging them. They're like, oh, she thinks she's better than us. Or he thinks he's better than us. And they say, no. I don't know where you are. We don't, I don't think I'm better than you, but I don't know what you all don't see about this booger eating business. Um, you may want to kind of step outside of this bubble you're in and see how the rest of the world is operating and why you should not be eating your boogers, right? It's something like that. People have been involved in some type of low vibrational energy for a long time where they get together, they group together to bully people, to stalk people online. And these are people you wouldn't even expect to be doing things like this. These are the like really older people that are being really immature. Immature, right? Imagine someone like in their 50s, their 40s, their 30s, their 60s, 70s, 80s even, right? Stalking a younger energy online to get a reaction out of them or, you know, just bullying someone, trying to downplay someone because they feel insecure about themselves. So they want you to feel insecure about yourself. They are trapped. So they want you to feel trapped, but you're not trapped. You don't feel trapped. You're free. You're free to be. These people aren't free to be because they gave their powers away a long time ago to this group. This is also like someone approaching you with a proposal like, hey, about bullying someone. And because they don't have self-identity, they don't know themselves. They don't want to upset the group, so they agree to do what it is that's been proposed to them, right? So you have some type of insecure character um, that probably has a problem with his winner size. It's, it doesn't function like it's supposed to, or it's, it doesn't really have any effect. Um, he approaches you, right, to participate in something low vibrational, and instead of you saying no because you are insecure and unaware of yourself, you agree to participate because you don't want to be the outcast. 
you don't want people to think like, oh, you don't you don't want to be part of us, right? You are causing problems in the group. You're doing this, you're doing that. When, when in reality, all you're really doing is staying true to yourself, having your own identity, a self. You have you have your own identity to move and live as you please. You don't have to please other people. You don't want to be part of a group. This is the this is part of the reason why I say group thinking is dangerous. Group thinking is not something I promote. Okay, when it's not in the benefit of the of the larger population, this is like a small group doing stupid stuff, not knowing how stupid they look doing it. But because they're getting some type of momentary momentary satisfaction from it, or the rest of the group members are cheering them up, say, "Yeah, you did that." And then when you when like the rest of the world look at this group, they're like, "Why is a whole group of people this dumb? Like, why are these people so incompetent?" They, like people when people see these kind of groups, they're looking at them like, "Why in the world?" It's a whole group of people this dumb and no one is telling them that they're dumb and what they're doing is absolutely disturbing. Why? Why, 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 why? But that's because of a lack of self-identity. Like they don't want to upset the group. They don't want to upset their leader. There's something like that going on here. Okay. But it's all immature behaviors, immature actions they're taking. They want to get a reaction out of you all, the collective. You're not giving them the reaction that they want. So the more they do stuff and you don't react, mm -hmm, it pisses them off. It pisses them off. You're all content. Like They're trying to bring you chaos, but you're all content. You're focused on your work. You're not paying them any mind. Nothing. Nothing. There could be someone, and this person is freeing themselves from this group. He said, I don't want to be part of this nonsense anymore. I'm telling you, he's taking charge of his life and moving forward. He don't want to be part of that nonsense anymore. It's so insecure. and in I don't even know what the word is that I want to use to describe this low vibrational activity. But it's immaturity. It's like, it's like you joining something and you don't know how retarded you look doing it. Until someone that has two screws in tight, because that's all you need to see the the stupid to the stupidity in this group. That's all you need, just two senses. They don't have that. They don't see it unless someone comes in and say, "Hey, why the heck are you all participating in this? What the heck is going on? You want to tell me you spent you actually take time out of your day to to participate in something that's dumb, right?" There could even be someone that's paying people behind the scenes to do this stuff. And the people doing it, they don't care. They're like, well, I get $200 to just bully someone. I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to do it. But it's like, no, you know exactly what you're partaking in. And whether it's now or later, there's going to be consequences for your actions. Okay? It, it's, I don't know. Like, I don't know what. It has to be, like, our background or something that it has to be a background something in our bike backgrounds as far as these people i guess will justify why they will agree to participate in something this childish because with me as complicated as my relationships are with like family members there is no way you're coming to me to tell me Hey, I'm going to give you $5,000 to go bully this person. And it's my family member or a friend or something. And I'm actually going to take that money and go do it to them. I'm not participating in that. Participating in that because one, excuse me, don't insult my intelligence. Second of all, who, what in the world made you think I would want to be part of something like this? Like, I understand your screws are not in tight, but mine are in just fine. You need to figure out how to tighten your screws so you don't feel like it's okay to participate in something like this. Okay? But these people are upset basically because you're still moving forward. Because someone still wants to work with you. Okay? While you're committed, these people are not committed. These are immature characters. This Knight of Pentacles in the reverse is just letting me know 
These people are immature. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse is a freaking headache. That's that one of those, uh, 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 let's say you're dating this person. That's one of those uh, uh, boyfriends that are, that are non-committal. They're a bit of a jokester. They laugh about everything. Everything is a joke to them. Even if they're just a friend, everything is a joke to them. They don't take anything serious. You can't take them serious, right? So this person, whoever this is, this is how he's seeing these people. They're a bunch of immature children, like kingdom gardeners. Can you imagine going to kindergarten on your first day and then you end up with a group of people you're, you've been friends with them for a long time? Do you see them eating their boogers and then you decide to join only to find out like when you all get to like the 10th grade or something that eating your booger is disgusting? It's like, oh, it took you guys this long to realize that eating your boogers is not the route. It's not the way to go. It's something like that, something really childish. But it's financially motivated as well. So that's why they are so committed. They're making money from doing the stupid stuff they're doing. And someone has made them a promise that they're going to get something even more grand that's grandiose out of this low vibrational activity. But it's a tower for these people. It's not going the way they thought. All these people have done is literally acquire or accrue karma ending for themselves and there are people actually going through endings in this group which is why they're fighting amongst themselves they're they're going through endings in these groups and they may need to probably just throw in the tower but someone in here is as absolutely stubborn they are a bit of a narcissist right and they don't want to be defeated by whatever energy they've been attacking can you imagine someone coming after you you've done nothing to them right nothing to them they may have stolen from you, and because they stole from you, they're trying to cover that up. So they come up with this horrendous plot to get people to partner up with them so that they can come after you. But when telling people you did something to them, you've never done to them, you stole from them when you've never stolen from them. This may have a lot to do with money. Maybe someone stole a check, someone stole some type of offer, tried to block an offer. It could have something to do with that. But the moral of the, the whole plot is that someone stole from another person, told a lie, and they had to keep that lie going. So they got desperate and they started telling lies to other people around them. Before they knew where they had built a community of deceived people, people that don't know the truth about why they're doing something that they're doing. Or there are just people in here that are clueless and they don't care to ask questions, but they don't understand that there are problems coming down the line. Problems coming down the line. I keep hearing like there are old old people sitting here, older people doing it. That people, I keep hearing grandparents, aunts, uncles. Some of family could be involved in this mess. Someone ex lover could be involved in here. You, like you have a whole community, like a whole cult was created just to come after one person. Make it make sense. I'm trying to block you, but these people don't realize that they block their own blessings. Yeah, they're fighting over someone's finances, someone's abundance, someone's property, inheritance. They're fighting over what does not belong to them. <laughs> they think they've wiped you clean off the slate, off the plate of the possibility to receive what's yours. And now they feel like, oh yeah, now I can have it. They can't have whatever this is. They cannot have it. It does not belong to them. And even if they do receive this, they're going to have to give it back. And it's going to be even more, uh, um, it's going to be more problem when they're having to give it back. Like someone is not secure like they think they are. There's someone in here that's really delusional. Okay, they're really delusional. They're not receiving something that they think they're going to be receiving. Someone is also not able to make you a solid offer because this person is non-committal. 
this is someone that plays around a lot. This is a womanizer. They're non-committal. Okay, they are non-committal. <clears throat> There's a woman in here that's going through some type of ending. She was expecting to receive some type of offer, some type of commitment, some type of inheritance, some type of home. I don't know what it is this woman was expecting to receive, but she's not receiving it. Okay? I'm telling you, these people, whatever plot this is, it's not going in their favor. They're not receiving this offer, this abundance, this inheritance. Whether it's a house, car, land, money, uh, a love offer, they're not receiving it. It's going to who it's supposed to in the end. Because just, yeah, I was going to say justice. Justice is going to prevail. Balance will be brought into this situation. Okay? I don't know if this is like someone passing away and leaving someone else in their will and the people that are in charge of the will or whatever, the people that know the person that's passing away decide that you don't deserve what it is that was left to you. So they make it their mission to steal this from you or to block you from receiving it. You're still going to receive it. They're just causing more problems for themselves. But eventually everything is coming out. I'm telling you, everything is going to come out. Everything is going to come out. Mm. Yeah. I said something about death and then the four source comes out. You have two masculines in here working together. There's a king of cups and a king of wands. Either they're working together or there's some type of plot. I, oh. mm. Either they're working together to resolve something or they're in competition with one another on who can make an offer to someone who wants to work and this has to do with working with another energy. I'm telling you, they're not getting, they're not blocking. Even if this is not a freaking like physical property and this has to do with an offer, you're still going to receive the offer from who you're meant to receive it from. In fact, you may even receive more offers than you were initially supposed to receive. And that's because of all the problems this group has caused. Is that you starting off with one blessing, but with every problem these people cause, the Most High has been multiplying the blessings. So by the time you get it, it's one from like a page of Pentacles offer to a freaking Ace of Pentacles. This is the biggest blessing in the deck. This is the biggest Ace of Ace of Ace of. Mm -hmm. This is the biggest offer of Pentacles in the deck. The Ace of Pentacles. Okay. That means that this is something that's directly from the most high. No one can block this. No one can steal this. No one can do anything to make sure that you don't get it. You are going to get it because that's coming from the most high. You see that? Let me bring this up. You see this hand coming out of the clouds? That is the hand of the most high basically giving you this blessing. And of course, it's going to come through the hands of a human. But that is the most high putting that person into action to give you their blessing. So it's yours at the end of the day. Like you are free to receive this blessing. Whoever this is, is free to make this offer. And they're still planning on doing it regardless of what people have done. This is like people getting together and telling someone, oh, they're not worthy of this offer. I deserve this offer. This is someone, this is a group of people trying to have someone give your blessing to them because they don't deem you worthy to have that blessing. They're like, oh, you shouldn't give them that offer. They don't know what they're doing. They're incompetent. They're retarded. They're this. They're that. Their IQ is low. Don't give it to them. I think I'm worthy. I think you should give it to me. That's what they're doing behind the scenes. They're competing with one another. You know, Jane goes in today and tells whoever this is, hey, yeah, don't give her that offer. You could probably, maybe me, maybe you can give it to me, you know. 
I, I've always wanted to do something like that. And this man knows that's not the person for the job. Someone knows the truth in here. Either this man, this is a business manager. This could either be someone that manages a business or he's very high ranking in a company. He knows the truth. He knows the truth. There's someone from your past that's not able to make you a solid offer. Thank goodness. You never want to be going backwards in life. This could be someone you dated. The, the king of cups, they give me like nostalgic feelings. Like someone you're familiar with. You dated this person, whatever this is. Someone may be being released from jail. You may be receiving a message about them being released from jail. What did they do to get locked up? Nobody knows. That's for some of you. So before you connect with anyone from your past, make sure you ask questions. Where have you been all these years, all these months, all these weeks? And if you find out they've been locked up, you need to ask questions. Something may be, I'm telling you, <clears throat> something may be revealed to you. Do not, do not connect with that man from your past, that woman from your past. You two broke up for a reason, okay? I'm telling you. You broke up for a reason. <laughs> I don't know if you all can see it over here, but you broke up for a reason. Dead that situation and leave it dead. Leave it dead. But this man here, whoever you're meant to partner up with, it may not be this king of wands. Whoever it is, they know the truth. So all these people that are competing for what's yours, he sees them like a bunch of jokes, like children. He says, shoot, if you all would do this to her, I can only imagine what you'll do to me. If you'll do this to him, I can only imagine what you'll do to me. It's something like that. Like, these people are working hard to get some type of fulfillment. I'm telling you, I'm speaking to God on this truth. These people are working hard to get something that does not belong to them. They haven't done the work. Not on a spiritual level, mental, emotional, or physical level. None of it. They just want the pleasures that come with this position, with this offer. They don't want to do the work. They do not want to do the work. But they want, they want the rewards. Rewards without effort. Rewards without merit. You need to earn what it is that you want. And if the Most High deems someone worthy of a, of a blessing or a gift, then they are meant to have that. But none of these people are worthy of this. They're bringing you problems, trying to cause you endings. This is that you having an opportunity or a blessing coming your way, and people are trying to disturb your life so you're living in uh, uh, poverty and things like that, right? Um... And then they want to make it hard for this person to connect with you. Like they have to keep looking for you all over the place. This man is committed to working with whoever you are collective. So he's not going to give this offer to anyone. This man already has it set in his mind who he's giving this offer to. So they can play all the tricks they want. Right, be, be, all the, be the jack of all tricks when it comes to causing illusions. I do this today, I do that tomorrow, I do this today. This man already knows. The King of Wands, they're very passionate, very determined. Okay? What does the King of Wands say in the upright? Listen, listen. Wise, charismatic, leadership, good at communicating, authoritarian, honest, efficient, passionate, extrovert, inspired others. Okay? Creative. The wise is the one that's getting me. So this man knows what the gig is, and the gig is up. He knows what they're doing. He knows the truth. The truth is exposed, right? <laughs> I'm telling you. He knows the truth. He may know that these people have been collaborating behind the scenes to make something look like what it's not. He... He may even be aware of you. He he has to be aware of you if he wants to give you this offer. He knows the truth. 
He knows they've been collaborating behind the scenes with a privileged lady or someone of high honor to cause some type of deception. He knows the truth. He's not giving this offer to anyone else. They basically told him, oh, you know, you'll be losing a lot of money and time if you work with her or you work with him. Whole time this man knows that you're someone committed to what you do. The whole time. You're someone loyal. Someone skilled. That this man knows your skill. This is the group of people going to someone and telling them, oh, she, he, they're not skilled. They don't even know what they're talking about. But this person watches you or observes you in some way and everything you do clicks for them. They know you know what you're doing. This is the situation. Like someone knows off the bat that you know exactly what you're doing. And because he knows they don't understand, they may not know when they come to him to complain about you, he's looking at them like a bunch of jokes. Someone laughs at a group of people a lot. He laughs at them. Like when they come in to talk to him, I don't know if this is like an office space whether they're coming to visit him. I don't know what this is, but when they come to talk to him, it's mostly them bad-mouthing another energy. But this man knows the truth about the energy they're bad-mouthing. And as soon as they leave, he's laughing. He laughs at them. Like, he gets a good chuckle. Someone gets a good chuckle out of people, people's immaturity. And... <laughs> I just heard like when as soon as he sees one one of them and he in his head, like when one comes and knocks on his door or something or comes to his I don't know if it's his office. In his mind, he said, Here we go again. Here we go again. And he's laughing at them. They don't know. He's laughing at them. Cause he knows the truth that you are skilled. He knows you're skilled. This man may have you on a pedestal and it pisses these people off. Like someone thinks very highly of you collective, but it pisses these people off. And he knows what kind of blockages they've been, blockages they've been causing for you behind the scenes to cause you some type of ending so that they can come out on top. When a group of people have to partner up together to take one person down, man, collective, you know you are a bad mama jamma. A whole group of mixed ages, young, old, middle age, in between, everything have to group together to destroy one person, you know you're a bad mama jamma. It takes that many people. I heard an institution for some of you. For some of you, these are families doing this behind the scenes. Yeah, he's keeping his offer. He's keeping this offer to give it to you. He's freeing himself. <laughs> he's, oh my gosh. He's taking his offer somewhere else. He's removing himself. I don't know if there was a masculine energy in here that thought he was going to keep something that does not belong to him. He can't keep it either. Whoever is supposed to be giving this offer is going to give it to the right person. And whoever stole something, they can't have it. They can't keep it. They have to let it go. It could have to do with a job position. He can't have it. This community, this family, whatever it is, they can't have it. They have to let it go. The four of pentacles in the upright has to do with you holding on tight to something, keeping something, being stuck, stagnant, being possessive. In the reverse, no, you have to let it go. You can't hold on to it, right? And you're experiencing some type of loss. I'm telling you, he has someone here. There's another character in here that may have stolen something. He has to let it go. Someone may be losing a job as well, a job position. Someone is losing a job position. Someone is losing money. You see how they went from the Eight of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles in reverse? 
They're losing a lot of money. They've lost everything. They've depleted their finances coming after you. And it was always divinely orchestrated to be this way. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, these people are losing finances. Every action they took against you is being accounted for. Every action they took against you is being accounted for. If they sent you a death spell, someone is passing away. If they sent you some type of poverty spell, obviously someone is in poverty now. Whoever came after you. Someone has to let go of a house, a property, a position, some money. Someone was celebrating early, 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 early. They said, yes, we stole this from her. We took it from her. We blocked her. And Source was sitting back looking at them, looking at them and him like, oh, really? Okay. Let's see how this plays out. Let's see how this plays out. You see how they went from celebrating to, uh oh. Uh oh. Mm. Someone put their time, energy, and effort into the wrong thing. And this star seed is still moving forward. If someone got a whole community to back them up in deceit, come to commit fraud, to commit illusions, and whoever they've been trying to deceive about a star seed is laughing at these people. He sees them as a bunch of jokes. Someone, I don't know, someone saying, oh my gosh, they're all children. They're all children. Dang. Never in life, never in life should you ever let another person direct your path. What these people did was let an insecure cold, cunning, immature character mislead them all because of money. This person probably made a whole lot of promises to these people and they were all false promises. I'm telling you, I said promises and the Knight of Cups came out. This man or woman made a whole lot of false promises to these people. You're going to get this and you're going to get that. When I get this position, you're going to get this. I have this position now. I can give you this. Uh, they were gaslighted. Someone was bluffing a lot of people. Someone was bluffing a lot of people. Someone has lost a lot of money. They were very, com I'm telling you, lost a lot of money. They were very much committed. Yeah. <laughs> they were committed to, this, to destroying someone when you're supposed to receive communication about your blessings they go in and they block it I'm telling you they go in and they block it and then, nah, I don't think she's worthy of this position this, this opportunity this offer, this abundance I think I'm worthy. No, I think I'm worthy. No, I'm the better fit. And the whole time, all of them are being laughed at. Someone is just sitting back and getting a whole lot of entertainment out of these clowns. A whole lot of entertainment. And they don't realize every action they took was being accounted for. And someone is sitting back Literally saying, I know not to trust you. I know not to trust you. I definitely know not to trust you. Oh, hell no, I'm not working with you. Because they didn't realize every action they took was exposing them to whoever has the offer, whoever has the blessing. Every action. This is like trying to prove that you're the better option than someone else. And then you go out of your way trying to destroy the other person, bad mouthing the other person. Right, and someone is testing you the whole time to see how far you're gonna go, and everything they propose to you to, to do to the other person, you do it. You're not realizing the whole time the person is testing your character 
at the end, you've proven to this person that your character is at the bottom of the barrel. You are not someone to be work, working with. You're not worth a commitment. You're not worth loyalty. You're insecure as can be. Literally, every action you take is exposing you to this person. This is what's going on here. And this group of people didn't know that. They thought they were they were proving their someone thought they were proving their loyalty. I was about to say loyalty. And my freaking page of source comes out. They thought they were proving their loyalty to the group, to the person that was testing them. It said, oh my lord. That's what huh? that's what has been going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody has been being tested. And every time someone took the bit. You are just proving that you're not worth <laughs> worth this offer, worth this commitment. Whatever this is, this abundance, this position, you're not worthy of it. Dang. Mm. And someone in here can't make you an offer because they betray you. They betray you. Somebody betrayed, like I think it's either an ex or someone you're familiar with. They betrayed you. They may have lied and did something really horrendous. And someone is going to take action to do something. Whoever this person is with the offer, I think, I don't know if they're hiding. That's okay. They remove themselves from this group or they're removing from themselves from this group, but they don't want to be seen. They're hiding. Someone is hiding. But as long as these people know, yeah, someone's, someone's exposed. The truth has exposed someone. The truth has exposed someone. I said they rem they've removed themselves and then the Seven of Swords came out. The Seven of Swords can have to do with you sneaking away from a situation. The Seven of Swords is a sneaky person, but it, on, depending on the situation and the spread, the sneakiness can be positive or negative. So because the truth has been revealed, someone may be sneaking away, taking charge of their life and moving forward. The truth has also been exposed about a thief. That people see someone as a thief. People have clarity about a thief. They have clarity about a situation. Why something played out the way it played out. And someone has been very committed to lying. Like, you told us she did this. Turns out she didn't know nothing about it. Well, that's what she said, of course. You don't listen to her. She don't know what she's talking about. She's incompetent. She's retarded. Don't listen to her. You told me she said this about me. No, no, no. That's not what I said. I said, I said she said this. No, that's not what you told me. You told me she said this about me. Turns out she didn't never say nothing about me. You're a liar. You're a thief. There's something here. I had a dream. There's something going on about a check. Either this check was written for either 8,000, 80,000, 800,000, something like that, 8 million. There's something here about eight. Someone stole this check. Either a group of people stole a check and spread it out amongst themselves. And someone found out that this check was not given to the person it was supposed to be given to. And these people have gotten together to cover up this scheme, this crime, this thievery. There's something here about a check that went missing. There are questions being asked because someone told a lie. Either someone stole a check and pinned it on someone else and there's an investigation going on. Someone may have said that you approved a check when you didn't approve the check. You wrote a check when you didn't write a check. There's something like that going on with a check. And someone in here is acting like they know nothing about the check. 
they know. I literally, in my dream, the group of people that stole the check were pointing at a feminine energy and saying, let's just say she did it. There was a masculine, a Caucasian masculine pointing at the feminine saying, let's say she did it. But he had the check in his hand the whole time. Let's say she stole the check. Okay. But there's a masculine that's about to lose his job. It's about to be struggling, going through financial loss, everything he was intending for you. Someone is not going to have wish fulfillment. They're being excommunicated. For some of you, maybe that's why you've been experiencing a lot of turmoil for no reason. You don't understand why people are coming after you. It's because a lie was told on you. They said you took a check you did not take. You, they said you took a check you did not take. That's for somebody out there. And someone thought they had gotten away with it, but they're being exposed as a thief. There's a feminine energy in here that's being exposed as a thief. As well. Someone could be using magic to make things go in their favor. Because that's all they know how to do. These kind of people, this is all they know how to do is use magic. This is all they know how to do is use magic to get whatever they want in life. Whether it's money, relationship, get attention, make things go in their way. That's all they know how to do because they, these are in, disingenuine people. They don't know how to be genuine. So they can't naturally acquire wealth because spirit does not F with them. Spirit that you've been incarnating all this time and you're still black at heart as can be. We ain't giving you nothing. So if you want to go steal from Billy, you go ahead and do that. But just know Billy's ancestors are watching you. You keep fooling with Billy. You're not going to be happy. You're not going to be happy. Billy's ancestors don't play about Billy. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yep. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, I'm telling you, this woman here is a piece of work. It, it, she's a piece of work. This is someone in an institution or someone's married, but they don't act their age. They're very greedy. Don't act their age. Someone is either married, she's someone's mother, something like that. She's experiencing some type of financial issues. I don't know if she hired a masculine to do work for her and the work didn't go in her favor. Whatever this is. Whatever this is. A sister has been pulling all tricks behind the scenes to make sure something goes in her favor. To make sure something goes in her favor. And you're showing up here in all of your energies. Well, a lot of your energies. Hmm. Someone is, I don't know who this masculine is. I see what's about to happen. I literally see what's about to happen. Hmm. I do know that two people are going to be partnering up from what I'm seeing. Two people are going to be partnering up and starting some type of new business. There's an offer or either some type of position that a queen of pentacles thought that she was worthy of having. But this woman is not business savvy. This is someone lazy as heck, greedy, 
not good with money, something like, like that. So the opportunity is being taken from her or she's no longer being considered for that position and it's being given to a different queen of pentacles that's actually in the upright. And this collaboration could lead to some type of, I don't know if it's a, a relationship or just something that's going to be very abundant. And someone out there collective, you manifested some type of relationship with someone of high honor. I'm telling you, justice. Action. They've been trying to block someone from coming towards another energy. And it's not going to happen. It's not happening. Someone is still taking action. This man could have been married or in some type of commitment with another woman and he's still taking action to free himself. He don't want to be want to be there anymore. Listen, you see what's falling on top of these people, this five of wands? It's the five of cups. Did I say these people were experiencing financial issues? They are. And you pushing forward has led to your victory. Honey, I'll tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. These people are not happy. They're disappointed. Walking around, hiding their emotions, holding everything in. I'm telling you. Because of the decisions they made. The decisions they made. And this man has made his decision. I'm moving forward. This man, I don't know if he just, he laughs a lot. Like, someone has a very boisterous laugh. But when these people are around, he keeps a straight face is what I'm seeing. Like he keeps a straight face. There's the side of this who I don't know who this masculine is. There's a side of him that he keeps to himself. Like people don't really get that side of him a lot. Like the he doesn't get to bring that inner child out a lot around these people. So he has to be very like stoic. But when this man really, really laughs, it's very boisterous and it comes from like his stomach, like wholeheartedly. He can't, he, he's not able to get a lot of people around him to get that side of him out. Like he has to have some type of like, I don't want to call, I don't want to call it a facade. It's not a facade, but he just knows that like, the environment he's in, he's not able, able to be relaxed because it's all wolves around him. But he, either he gets home or in his car or something. He laughs at these people. He laughs at them. Whether it's internally or just in some way. He gets, he gets good entertainment out of these people. And I think that's because now he has a clear understanding of what's going on. He gets good entertainment out of these people. And I don't know why I'm being given that message. But what I'm hearing is that someone gets good entertainment out of a bunch of clowns. Good entertainment. They're like trying to persuade this man to stay stuck in something toxic and karmic. Or to keep someone in a toxic situation. Like I hear someone telling him don't help her or don't help him. Something like that. Because they want to keep something going, right? They want to keep something going because this is someone heartless, cold, cunning, with ulterior motives. But this man knows. Listen, it fell back on this Queen of Cups. This man knows the truth. That is sad. They're disappointed because this person is still moving forward. Still moving forward. And there's something where I don't know if this they could be he could be going through some type of separation and maybe experiencing some type of loss, but it'll be replenished. It'll be replenished. Like maybe even ten times full. It'll be replenished. So this is this part person taking action. And they may be not even saying what they're doing or they are, they are going through some type of financial loss because of the separation 
or because they're letting some type of position go, something like that. Someone who had been in competition with him for a position as well, and he thought this person was a friend. No, someone was put in his energy to compete with him. Or someone is just naturally competitive with other people, but this isn't someone she should have been competing with. This is like you competing with your manager, basically. And the manager realizes, well, I don't really want this position anyways. I'm kind of sick of you all, so I'm just going to go ahead and move on. Um, something like that. And there's another wealthy man going through an ending here. He's lost quite a lot of money. Yeah, I'm telling you, this man is removing himself. They want to. They want him to see this toxicity as wish fulfillment. Nope, he knows the truth. He knows the truth. He knows these people have martyred himself. He may have taken actions to martyr himself as well. But he has a higher understanding of the situation now. Someone is realizing that he maybe should have listened in the beginning, paid more attention to what was going on. He didn't realize that he was being set up or something like that. I don't know what the setup has to do with, but there was something that was planned meticulously, very carefully. And he didn't realize that people were planted in his energy. This could be a woman as well. People were planted in her energy, right? to make things look a way they weren't. So this is like people coming in with the same narrative, either every day, every other day, every other week, just to kind of reiterate what it is they told him so that he doesn't forget in case he decides he wants to come towards a star C energy. That like we're telling you, she's not smart. He's not smart. Every time I say star C, and this sun car keeps coming out, but this person knows the truth. It's been revealed to him. Someone's ancestors may have shown him some type of vision, some type of dream. So this could be someone that's very gifted and he knows the truth. And that's why I think they keep telling me that he's getting humor out of watching these people make clowns of themselves. They're all disappointed. He's disappointed, but he's disappointed for a different reason than they are. He's disappointed because of something he did and he's having remorse for that. They're disappointed because you won, Collective. A whole clown of, of people came against you and they still lost. That's why they're disappointed. And they don't like the fact that you have foresight of the situation. Like, you know, you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen. Dang. <laughs> and that's why you stay calm the whole time. Someone may be even trying to come in as well to, to get you uneasy, bother and stuff. Sources, stay calm. Stay calm. Your enemies are getting desperate behind the scenes. This is why they're taking actions to come into your energy to get you out of this vibration. Stay calm. You have foresight. You will have what's yours. Stay calm. And that's what I said. That like People are, are doing things to get reactions out of you all. And you're not giving them the reactions that they want. So it's pissing them off. It's pissing them off. It's a, she should be. She should be locked up by now. She should be broke, busted, and destroyed by now. What is going on? Yeah, this man is leaving everything behind. You, collective, source is going to do something for you. You just won't imagine. Who didn't imagine? I bet that three of wands keep trying to come out. Mm -hmm. I knew this sucker was going to come out. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for that sucker to come out. Someone could actually to be hiding the moves that he's making, which is good. Someone's going to probably come to you and tell you to keep you, something between you and them. Whatever this is, honey, it's going to be different for a lot of you. 
<laughs> I can't hear someone laughing. I hear someone laughing. A man. I can hear a man laughing. And this man doesn't even laugh a lot publicly around people. But there's something where it's like another energy either brings him joy and these other people bring him entertainment. So he knows the truth. So either way, he's having a lot of laughs behind the scenes. And they don't know it. <laughs> that may be why I was laughing so much in the beginning of the message. Now I understand. That's crazy how things work. <laughs> Oh my gosh this man is silly anyway this man is removing himself from this situation these people whoever he's with he's he is moving on he's count his loss because he is experiencing some type of financial loss by letting go of either this marriage this institution whatever this is he is experiencing some type of loss, but he understands that that's the sacrifice he has to make in order to be able to move on with his life and have the genuine connection that he wants to have. Okay? That's why he's okay with the loss that he's experiencing. Because he's not growing or healing with these people. This five of wands under here, he's not growing with these people. They're setting him back. Can you imagine going in to talk to someone about another energy to prove uh, to them or to persuade them that the other energy is worthless? Is this, is that? Only for that person you're talking to to be laughing at you once you leave their presence? Dang. He said, this clown here, you really came in to talk to me about another person that's not worried about you. Because you think you're doing what? Proving something to me? Proving your loyalty? There are certain people, and I'm glad this King of Pentacles came out. There are certain people you can pull up gossip with, and there are certain people you can't do that with. The King of Pentacles are people that are very intellectual have a whole lot of common sense and a lot of the times they choose to utilize it. There are some King of Pentacles that don't utilize their common sense, but a majority of them do. And they have a lot of it. They're very wise. They're very practical about situations, matters at hand. Let's see what the King of Pentacles said. Self-control, thank you. Self-control, steady, enterprising, pragmatic, Industrialist, provider, dependable, businessman, material success, financial management. Emphasis on security. So these are people because they have common sense, they're practical, they have self-control. When you come to talk to them about another energy or about a situation and you're trying to manipulate the situation, they will know. But they're not going to talk to you about what they know because they are letting you expose your hand. They're, they are letting you expose your hand. And the Queen of Pentacles operates in the same way, the ones that are in the upright. The genuine Queen of Pentacles, they operate kind of in the same way. They will let you talk and you'll expose your hand. They're not going to get upset with you. They're not going to try to correct you. They'll listen to you. But just know when you leave that room, they already know the truth about the situation because these are people that are very much experienced in life. You see this castle behind this man is far, far away. This community, this is the distance behind this man and where he is, is telling us how far this man has traveled to achieve his success. And you have to understand there are things he went through along their journey to get to where he is. So he was building experience. 
So by the time he gets to this King of Pentacles status, you best believe he has dealt with a lot of clowns. He's dealt with a lot of clowns. So you're no different. He knows exactly what he's dealing with. When you go to sit in his office, in his home, wherever, to badmouth someone else to him, to manipulate him, he knows exactly what you're doing. He's been through it before. That's part of why the King of Pentacles is the King of Pentacles. It's not just because he has money. It's the experience he has acquired. The experience he has acquired. Okay? This is why. Now, all of the other kings in the deck, you won't see that distance with them. The King of Cups has to do with your emotions, balancing your emotions and stuff like that. But it doesn't really have to do with your experience as a person. Your, your journey, excuse me, it's not really showing your journey that you've been through. But the King of Pentacles shows you the journey. It shows you how far this person has come to achieve their Pentacles. Like it took a whole lot of work to get to where he is. So you best believe when you clown number one, clown number two, come into his energy to tell him something, he knows what the heck is going on. I'm telling you, he knows. These are people very logical, very practical. And they don't tell you what they know, like the queen of, uh, uh, like the high priestess. They don't tell you what they know. They'll just sit back and listen to you. Because that's how they've, they've learned. They've learned that reacting to a lot of things is pointless. It's best to not react. You come in and say, oh, I heard she was sleeping with this person. And he'll just look at you like, oh, wow. Well, that's interesting. In the back of his mind, he already knows. You, you bull as in him. <laughs> you're B as in him. He already knows. He may even know more about the person you're talking to him about than you do. But he's not going to say anything. And then when you leave, he's laughing at you. He said, look at this clown here. This clown. He's probably calling you a clown too when you're in, in his face talking in his head. But he's not going to say, he said, look at this clown here. Another day of you being focused on someone else that ain't worried about you. Look at this mess here. Look, 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 look. Always going off about someone else. Don't have nothing going on. That woman has taken over your life, hasn't she? All you do is gossip about her. But the whole time he's sitting there with a stoic face or the resting bee face, not showing no emotions, just listening to you. That's it. That's how these people operate. The queen of pentacles too, no different. What does it say? Okay, I'm telling you, pragmatic, resourceful, a go-getter, responsibility, creative, good at business, wealth, generous, charitable, maternal, generating prosperity. I'm telling you, in a way, she's like the feminine version of that man. They're both pragmatic, very practical people. You don't know what they know. And you see her too with the distance she has nature all around her mountains valleys rivers animals everything some are very intuitive so when you go to gossip about this when you go to gossip to these energies about other energies they know what's up but they know how to stay quiet because they know why you are talking about someone else you're exposing your hand so they know if you're coming to them to speak ill of them, ill of another person to them, you're more than likely doing it to them too. You're more than likely doing it to them too. And they don't take you serious. Yeah, and he's disappointed, I'm telling you. Because he knows the truth that's going on. He knows. He knows what's going on. He's not going to say nothing. Mm -hmm. Putting an end to that situation. He knows what's going on. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Then 
I said someone was, I'm telling you this group here, this group is a mess. Someone is like taking actions to get someone out of their energy, out of balance. But it's like they're seeing you as someone that's very calm, very kind. You're not worried about what they're doing. They want to keep dragging something on. These people know they have endings coming in, but they want to keep dragging some type of situation on. And they're disappointed because they said whatever they do is not, it's not working. Okay. Is that we, we, we've been trying to shake this person up, but they're not giving us the reaction. Which means we're going, we're going to be experiencing an ending. How are you trying to destroy someone and they're acting like they don't see you? Literally, someone is having mental funerals for all of you. Like they're turning their back on you. You're yelling, hey, you be. And they turn their back on you and just walk away like you're not even there. And you're standing there yelling with yourself, at yourself, whatever it is. Just, just a yelling. And someone is just walking away. Maybe even chewing gum, popping gum. And then like you're not even there because in their world, you don't exist. Make it make sense. Right. <laughs> Yeah, they want to keep dragging something out with an impressed energy and you don't care about nothing they're doing. Victory is yours, says the most high. Like, oh, this person really is an impressed energy. They really are high priestess. Oh, yeah. And there's a mother figure in here that has been abusing resources, connections. She may have partnered up with someone in the reverse or she's in the reverse. Someone is a brute. She's a freaking brute. Very jealous, insecure. Nah. Someone is intimidated by you. All of this drama could have started because of a mother character. She may not have wanted her son and you partnering up together. So she took some type of action to cause problems, told lies invaded someone's privacy and things like that someone has been doing a lot behind the scenes this could be someone's mother someone's wife ex-wife baby mama something like that and she's failing to accept the reality of the situation that she's actually at fault for the situation she's failing to do that so she's still taking more aggressive actions to make something look like what it's not. She's unhinged. Unhinged. While going through some type of ending, she's unhinged. Like, I'm telling you, don't go to her. She's going to destroy your life. Meanwhile, she's been destroying this man's life for some maybe 20 years, 30 years. Been destroying his life and he don't even know it. Causing illusions and stuff. I'm telling you. And all the illusions are being exposed. Everything is being exposed. Judgment has been called in this situation. Someone is exposed. Someone is throwing some type of tantrum behind the scenes. They said, I'm telling you. Do not go to her. She's not worth it. She's not even on your level. She's a black girl. She's a white. She's a Mexican. She's Asian. She, there's something here about that. There is something here. There's a mother figure in here with some type of superiority complex, and it's just not cute. It's not as cute as she thinks she it as she thinks it is. Either this is a mother, wife, baby, mama, whatever. She has some type of superiority complex that's not as cute as she thinks it is. It's repulsive. People find her to be repulsive. Extremely repulsive. And this is someone that has a lot to say when you're not around. But when she sees you, she's running as fast as she can. Run, run, run. Run, Forrest, run. I'm telling you. Someone abused their power. Yeah. 
Someone is unhinged. They may be trying to say that if you are a high priestess collective, this woman could be saying that you, I was going to say a devil worshiper. She may be saying that you're someone of the dark. But you are a devil worshiper. Like she's in the voodoo. She do, he do, they do. We all do. Collective, we don't do voodoo. We don't need to. We're blessed. We're protected. We're highly favored. And it, it doesn't matter what she does, what they do. You're still going to get your blessings. Someone still wants to work with you. Someone still wants to work with you. I'm telling you, <laughs> judgment has been called. You are in the upright, high priestess. Someone has been going out of their way to dishuffle you and all of that. Telling people you're into dark magic. You send spell work to people. That's how you get people to fall in love with you. Nothing is genuine about you. You have to use magic for people to be charitable to you and things like that. And the whole time, honey, it's your ancestors taking care of business the whole time. They're showing people the truth. They are showing people the truth. Giving people dreams, going into people's dreams and stuff. And some of you ancestors have said it before. They move out here like they're goons. You would think they were in the dark, but they're not. This man here, this king of pentacles here, is someone gifted. I think I mentioned something before about a masculine could be gifted earlier. That man is gifted. With this judgment card out here, this is someone very gifted. Very intellectual very spiritually aware as well okay and this is someone that is either heal or healing like i said whoever this masculine is is coming towards someone has some type of confession to make he may have betrayed you betray your confidence right you may have confided in this person about something and he went and told someone else or he took some type of action against you to cause you some type of ending, a horrible ending. May have been working with a wife figure, his mother, something like that. He was working with someone else or other people. And there's a ruthless king of swords in here that's going through an ending too, losing money. Mm. But you're showing up as a high priestess in the upright. And you've called judgment in this situation. Yep, you've called judgment. I'm telling you, and you you have foresight of the matter. Yep, you've called judgment in this situation, and your your judgment has been accepted. It's final. It's final. It's final. I'm telling you, this woman here, this mother figure, wife figure, whoever this is has been causing a lot of confusion about an offer being made to someone. And you knew the whole time. You knew the whole time what was going on behind the scenes. And someone thought you didn't know. Judgment has been called and it's final. Things are not going in this man's favor, whoever this is. It's not going in his favor. It's not going in his favor. All the complications, manipulations, and conflict they caused, it led to some type of imbalance for them. They're not able to take action to cause you some type of ending. If they're trying to steal something from you, they cannot steal it or they cannot keep it. They have to give it back. But it's, man, things are not going in their favor, physically. Be 
careful with someone coming in your energy as well to play playing to be calm, collect, diplomatic. They may not be someone that's emotionally imbalanced and they may want to come in to disturb your peace, get you to make the wrong choice in love, in connection, in partnerships, right? And you're being told to stand your ground, high priestess. That I told you, you are someone of high honor. This high priestess here, you're someone of high honor. Someone has been doing a lot of work, abusing their power to make you look like something you're not, right? And you're still showing up as someone of high honor. You're protected. <laughs> Thank you. You have a direct connection to source. Everything you do and say is something that's coming from source. You're not here manipulating. This is what this woman wanted people to believe, that you were someone manipulative. Like you were trying to have things go in your favor when you don't even, maybe you all didn't even know what was going on this whole time. So how are you going to manipulate a situation you don't have any type of idea you don't know about? Make it make sense. Because this woman has been working from behind the scenes. Someone has been working from behind the scenes to cause blockages, stagnation, confusion, with a group of people. She's been working from behind the scenes. Now, as a high priestess, you intuitively know, but we stay quiet on what we know. We don't take actions like that. The high priestesses, they're not people of really action unless you go to them and make a request. Or they are in some type of situation where they feel like they have to take action. But these are people that are more so mental, emotional, spiritual. These are not people you're going to find fighting a battleground, fighting on a battleground or something like that. Because they can use their mental to make things work out in their favor, right? By talking to the, I'm telling you, they're mental. By communicating with the Most High, their ancestors, the spirit around to let them know what kind of judgment they're calling. But they're not making, the ones in the upright at least, they're not making judgment that it's like oh i want this person to be out of here or i want this person to lose this it's more so like they'll talk about vindication and things like that like high priestesses that are in the upright they're not there to manipulate they don't manipulate that's against the very fiber of their being to be manipulative but someone has been surrounded by enemies and uh, listen And they're learning the hard way. Mm. Did the King of Pentacles decide not to move on? Like he decided not to... Is There's a King of Pentacles in here that decided not to move on. Is that what I'm hearing? He's deciding not to heal. He made the wrong choice. Yeah. yeah, he decided not to not to heal because there's financial benefits. He made the wrong judgment. Someone, oh, you're standing your ground and someone decided not to come towards you or something like that. So, I don't know, honey. I don't know. But someone decided not to move forward with a plan, a course of action they were going to take. There could be another King of Pentacles in here or something that made some type of decision not to move forward. But you are defending yourself. And someone has decided not to come towards you, not to support you or something. I am so sorry. I am so confused about the last four cards. Someone was, so someone was going to come to give you some type of offer. Someone stepped in to cause some type of conflict, which interfere with things going in the right direction, balance being brought into a situation. You're still standing your ground, and I think you standing your ground 
means that someone has decided not to come towards you to assist you or something like that. But that's a okay because this was a judgment that was made by your ancestors because that man had ulterior motive, whoever this is. He has ulterior motive. This is why he's not coming towards you. Hence, I think I mentioned earlier, someone may be trying to come into your energy to manipulate you so that you can make the wrong choice in partnerships. So this man choosing not to come towards you is not a bad thing. It's protection from your ancestors. Okay, thank you. It's protection from your ancestors. You're showing up here in a king queen of swords energy. You already know about what's going on. You already know. Yeah, you know. You know. You know you were betrayed. I'm telling you, you know. And there's a queen of swords going through an ending. She's going through an ending. Right. Trying to end a star sea. Girl. She's trying to cause you an ending, but she's going through one. She's unable to heal. There's a woman in here that's unable to heal. But the, even though she's unable to heal, she's still trying to cause you an ending. Make it make sense. Lord, this message is expanding a little bit more than I wanted it to. Because now I want clarity. I'm telling you, she's wanting to cause you an ending and she's not getting her wish fulfillment. She's not getting it. She was wanting to hear that you were out, down and out. It's not so. Things are still moving forward. Balance is still being brought in the situation. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're still moving forward. This kind of justice here has to do with people interferences, whether it's in the upright or in the reverse. Someone's hand is in there. This kind of justice Lord, I am so glad I kept going. This kind of justice had a karma it has to do with the most highest interference. So someone did something to block some type of balance from being brought into a situation. So this is a man-made justice, right? This is some type of act, action taken by someone behind the scenes. And the most high is stepping in and overriding their call. It said, no, uh-uh. They're still moving forward. Man, I'm telling you, this message here, this could be like a law official. Yeah, someone in the, re man, someone in the reverse, someone abused their power. They made the wrong judgment purposely. This is someone that pretends to be you or something like that. Pretends to be in the upright. They're not. They interfere with justice, balance. And the most high is overriding their call. It's like, nah, 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 nah. We're not doing that. This person is still moving forward. I'm telling you, this person is moving. I'm telling you. And I'm going to leave it at that. This person is still moving forward. The most high has override some type of judgment that was made. Dang. Because you were supposed to have victory and someone interfered with it to cause you a loss. And you may have removed yourself from the situation still on. You're like, you're like I'm out of this. I'm out of this. Uh, I don't want to be part of this community, whatever this is. And so you moved on to heal. You see, both of these cards have to do with healing. They may, you, you move on to heal. A king of pentacles stepped in because he's working with these people behind the scenes. To cause you some type of heartbreak. Get you out of your balance, balanced energy. They don't want you to be seen as someone practical, someone calm, modest, classy, whatever it is. Strong. They want wanted to flip you upside down. Cause you an ending, even death. But you held your composure even though this person was abusing their power. They then went to partner up with someone in the reverse to come and cause you hindrances. But you are the queen of... I mean, the high priestess. So you know what's going on intuitively. Like your ancestors are feeding you messages. You are possibly even having dreams and visions about what's going on. So you have foresight. 
and know how to protect yourself against these people and your ancestors are intervening on your behalf as well. Okay? They're securing a new beginning for you, but someone is causing conflict behind the scenes to interfere with justice, to interfere with balance. There could be a court case going on, but you are showing up as someone of high moral character, solid as a rock. Solid as a rock. And they're blocking someone from coming towards you. They're trying to block you from healing, self-actualizing because the Eight of Cups has to do with someone that's self-actualizing. Knowing the truth about a situation and knowing what steps to take, what moves to make. Right? To make sure things go in your favor. They, you, they know you are of high honor. They don't want you self-actualizing. You have a Queen of Swords in here that wants you to go through an ending. But even though they don't want you self-actualizing, you're still very intellectual. So you still see what they're trying to do to you. You still see it. The betrayal, everything they're doing. You know it. You know it. You're very intellectual, very skilled. And you're still staying in this energy and someone is not happy about that. So the universe, because you're staying in this energy, which means that you are trusting the universe to work things out in your favor and it's pissing someone off, the universe does not care. They're overriding this person's judgment or whoever this is, whether it's a judge, a police officer, PI, FBI, D DEA, whoever, business owner, this whole group. The judgment that was called by them is being overrided by the most high. You're still moving on, having your new beginning victory okay because <laughs> look at me and my stubbornness i want to see what the last card is going to be okay like victory is still yours you're still secure man when i am telling you the universe said uh-uh we make the thank you you get to go out and have a brand new life oh my gosh you get to go out and have a brand new life. The universe said, we are not having this. We are not having this. Dang. Ooh, baby, that took a whole, that was a whole wild ride. We went on a whole adventure. The universe is out here overriding karmics overriding judges if you all have a court case going on the the universe is overriding some type of judgment someone made because they know that judgment was not of pure intent there's the king of swords out here and the justice card out here in the reverse which means there's some type of tempering going on in the court system for those of you that have court cases going on there's some type of tempering going on, but the universe is overriding that. And they're telling you everything happens in divine timing. So trust that the balance is being brought into the situation. These people are going to be exposed. Everything they've been doing, any action they took is going to be exposed. It's going to be exposed. Uh, I guess I'll do three today. The, the page of swords has to do with you going out into the world and having experiences instead of just being cooped up in your castle, your house, your hut, wherever you are. You're, you have to go out and experience the world, right? And that's how you become wiser, learning new things, having new experiences. It also has to do with someone who's a fighter, right? They don't pick fights. Like the page of swords are very committal people. Like they're very committed to the people that matter to them. Very loyal people. They'll fight for you before you even fight for yourself. Like they'll stand up for you. They're big on loyalty and things like that, okay? So you having your victory and then going out into the world, that's what the universe is telling you. And you have the fool out here as well. You're going out. The wheel of fortune, out. 
the wheel of fortune can have to do with like you taking flights or something flying somewhere whatever it is so you're going you're being free from this situation and being let go like set free to go and live your life <laughs> okay zero it, which has to do with fresh start starting new with the full out listen you see here right here zero zero like the energies these numbers on here are not accidental fresh start that's what the fool has to do with let's see here it said new start unlimited potential innocent fancy free idealism spirit of adventure creativity a tendency to icon i can what iconoclism oh a tendency to iconoclism journey lord have mercy i had a moment there excuse me folks that took <laughs> lord have mercy all right listen i need to go out and expand my vocabulary it's not as extensive as i thought it was apparently but let's go ahead and read this angels ask for your attention open your eyes listen and think about everything that is happening Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. I am observant. Okay. Three, which usually has to do with celebration. I think I saw the three of uh, uh, cups here somewhere under the, the deck, right? Under the spread. But it's here somewhere. Um... Am I going to see it? Uh, here it is. Yeah, three of swords has to do with celebration, bounty, friendship, new alliances, alliances that you can trust, solid alliances. This is what's coming for a lot of you. It said expression comes naturally to you. You are very skilled at communicating your thoughts through conversation and creative pursuits. You are able to get others on board with your ideas. I am charismatic. And then 16, which sums down to 7. And 7 has to do with luck, right? Victor Listen, right here, right here, right here, right here. The chariot. The chariot has to do with conquest, victory, external strength, self-control, right direction, put into action, momentum, breakthrough, travel. I'm telling you. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. I am perceptive. Okay. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.